Well, hello and welcome to Straight Talk on Mining, the webcast series. So what is Keith doing here? Well, um, shareholders of Irania have asked, please, 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 we want information about uh, the kind of um, deposits that we're looking for, mineral deposits. And uh, I started up a website many, many years ago, actually 2001, called Straight Talk on Mining. It's still alive if you want to have a look at it. Um, and uh, I must admit, part of it was shameless self-promotion, but I also uh, wanted to explain um, really some uh, important facts about mineral deposits, getting rid of a lot of the jargon, because sometimes you know, uh, people think we're kind of like the uh, the professor of the dark arts in the Harry Potter series, and uh, and people don't uh, uh, readily understand a lot of the jargon uh, that comes out of uh, geoscience. Uh, so uh, I'm going to attempt here to explain things kind of in layman's language. Uh, now, don't send me a whole bunch of nasty grams saying that I'm dumbing things down and I'm not explaining things properly, especially from the academic people. <laughs> this is designed for uh, investors and specifically uh, for investors in Orania Resources who are sponsoring this. And uh, we'll move on. So there I am. Uh, I'm delivering it. I'm the chairman and CEO of Orania Resources Limited. Uh, there's our logo. Uh, I may be making forward statements, so be, for, be uh, forewarned. And on our journey, we're going to be accompanied by this little guy. Uh, this is actually out of my, my own library. It's, uh, it's an old pamphlet that was published in 1853, right after the start of the California gold mining rush. And it says, the miner's progress seems in the life of a California miner. And you see this guy's kind of down on his luck here. He's wearing rags and he's frying up his boots here for dinner. <laughs> so I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, follow along uh, with some of the stuff that, uh, that this poor chap has been doing. And um, uh, I'll be reading poetry. Isn't that something? I don't look too dissimilar back in 2004. That's before the Fruta del Norte discovery. And I'm actually standing on it, uh, not knowing that it was there back in 2004. But I'm sweating like a pig. I'm covered in mud and feeling uh, rather miserable. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing, or I'm going to be doing a short course on epithermal gold silver deposits. And if I get some feedback that uh, people actually like this stuff, I'll do a short course on porphyry copper deposits, followed by a short course on sediment hosted copper silver deposits. Now, the reason I'm choosing these three are because these are the three targets that uh, that Irania is chasing down in Ecuador. Uh, so uh, you know, this is not going to be like an extended infomercial, but uh, I will be uh, focusing the things, uh, focusing things on what the company is doing. So as I said, I started out Straight Talk on Mining, the website, back in 2003. If you want to have a look at it, it's still alive. It's www.straighttalkonmining.com, all one word. And that's what it looked like back in the good old days. And some of you who are watching this may even remember it. This is what it looks like now, pretty much uh, this day. Uh, this is from May 2020, um, a screenshot. And um, yeah, so things have moved on a little bit. I've got a nice scene of the mountains here in Switzerland in the back. Um, so uh, as I said, this is going to be presented as actually modules. So they're all going to run about five minutes, four minutes, whatever. And you can pause them at any point. You can, um, you can binge watch the whole thing if you wish. It's going to be about an hour long in total. So... Uh, as I said, I'm going to recite some poetry. This is kind of, uh, <laughs> this is purple prose, if ever there was any. The pilgrim paused, for now he heard his distant comrade shout. 
He drew a last whiff from his pipe, then knocked the ashes out, and stooping as he gathered up his shovel in his pan, the breeze his latest accents bore, I am a wretched man. He's looking pretty wretched, too. The pilgrim seeketh for rocks. <laughs> so this is from 1853. Uh, so this is the last slide in the introduction, and we'll move on to module number one.